man. You know it. It's Money Mark. Give it up for welcome. The Bowie Buddy, Mr. Pat Williams. Before we get cracking, uh, I do have some complaints about Cincinnati. Let's get this out the way before a nigga gets started. Uh, I've been here three days. It's been all, how the fuck is you niggas gonna have all the weather? This is bullshit. 72 hours, it's been hot, mild, rainy, cloudy, sleety, cold. This is bullshit. A pimp don't know what to wear in this motherfucker. I'm in the hotel lobby with a fur coat on, some swim trunks, some Timberlands, and an umbrella, because I don't know what may happen in this raggedy bitch this evening. Shit. Yesterday, it was 181 degrees. Today, it was 36. What the fuck? You can't pimp nobody when it's 136 degrees. Just as soon as you walk out, bitch, where's my money? Ta pimp down! 1032, bitch, get the trunk. I am a boy, Damon. Got to love Cincinnati. <clears throat> this is the ugliest nastiest, dirtiest, most beautiful place in all of the United States of America. Shit. You can just be driving in a nice neighborhood, just driving, just look at the architecture and look at the clocks and the fountain and oh my God, and then three seconds later, what the fuck, nigga, is that? Is that two crackheads and a pit bull, nigga? What? We didn't even turn the corner, nigga, why? <laughs> Crackheads in Cincinnati be working hard. See, people with a day job think a crack salesman has an easy job. They don't know this nigga got to do five jobs. This nigga got to be a salesman, security, lookout, gunman, all of that. That's all his job. Nigga just on the corner. Just This bullshit. Got to love Cincinnati. I hadn't been here in a minute. I needed some clothes. I asked the lady at the front desk, which mall should I go to? She said, sir, there is a mall damn near attached to the hotel. If this ain't the most rinky-dink mall in all of the United States, Almost went back and smacked the shit out of her. Now, ma'am, you know it wasn't nothing for niggas in there. Paintings and incense burners and shit. The mall looked big from the outside. Look big like it's five blocks long. You get in that motherfucker and find out it's built in a circle. We just in the mall. Oh, nigga, this is nice. This is nice. I like this, nigga. This is nice. I like this, nigga. Is that a Foot Locker, nigga? They got a Foot Locker. That's nice, nigga. They got two motherfucking Foot Lockers. This is the shit, nigga. They got three goddamn Foot Lockers. I fucked around and bought the same pair of shoes twice. Y'all forgive me why a nigga takes a drink and adjusts his electronic technicians. You got haters here too, though. Oh. Oh, you got some haters in Cincinnati now. All over the world is haters. 
You have to be careful, because it's easy to become a hater. See, most real niggas think that haters are born. Haters are made. They start out just like us, real niggas. They want to do good so bad that niggas no longer respect the grind, the journey, the struggle, the shit you got to do in between. These niggas want to be ballers overnight. I saw some shit in Cincinnati today that hurt my spirit as a nigga. And I hope that the nigga I'm finna talk about is in this motherfucker tonight so I can talk about his ass personally. Y'all not gonna believe this shit. I'm in the limo and in my peripheral, I see some niggas looking confused. That made out a nigga's side vision, out his side vision. Nigga in the back thought it was a car. That nigga got a peripheral? <laughs> Fuck a phantom, that nigga got a peripheral. That ain't even supposed to come out to 2006. In my peripheral today, that nigga still think it's a car. I don't believe him, it's a car. He don't want nobody to have it. I saw a nigga today. I know y'all want to know, I'm going to tell you. I saw a nigga with spinner hubcaps. What part of the game is this? That motherfucker didn't even spin on their own. This nigga had to get out the car and spin them bitches manually. This is bullshit. Cincinnati and I hear that the Cincinnati government want to honor a nigga. Now automatically I am caught off guard. For I know this must be some sort of a government type of setup. I know a nigga must have a warrant he overlooked or something. I'm expecting at any moment for this to be a setup and I find out they have declared it Cat Williams Day. Now, that sounds beautiful, but niggas were very vague. They were very vague. They didn't tell me what the fuck that mean. That mean a nigga can jaywalk? What that mean? That mean weed is legal in my vehicle? Have the laws on prostitution been slightly relaxed for a nigga? A seminar naya, a seminar shonda, could that be the case? They gave me the proclamation, and let me just tell you something, I know y'all, this Cincinnati, I'm not even supposed to do it here because I know that there is a boycott in Cincinnati. But let me tell you something. There are several types of niggas. There are niggas that are concerned with politics. And then there is street niggas. Street niggas don't know nothing about boycotts. They don't know nothing about what the opposite of boycott is. Niggas know don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. Can I get a witness? That's how we handle business. So, I'm just here to remind niggas that we stress entirely too much black people. I'm just saying, you got to make up your own rules. Your own rules. Fuck trying to keep up with other motherfuckers. That's our problem. We be wanting to keep up. Niggas be working real hard, get $5,000 worth of spinning rims. <laughs> and pull right on up in an apartment complex with them spinning rims. You gonna have to get some priorities eventually now. I'm gonna tell you something about spinning rims you might not have known. You're not gonna believe this. From inside your car, you can't even see them bitches spin. Can you believe that? All that motherfucking money and you gotta look at niggas on the bus stop to verify your motherfucking rims. You just have to light to
Better get your life together. Life is too short to be worried about other motherfuckers. Fuck 20 inch rims. Put $20 in your gas tank and get your goddamn grind on one more time. Cause uh, I don't care who you are, gas is entirely too fucking high. I don't care if you got millions, gas is too high. You are not supposed to be at the gas station making life decisions. You just at the pump, just, nigga, did I eat today? <laughs> nigga, I ain't got but three cigarettes. I can't get no half a tank, nigga, you. <laughs> just saying, life is too short. You need to get you some white friends. <laughs> get you some white friends. You can learn a lot from white people. First of all, First of all, could we have all the white people make some noise? All the white people make some noise. Like to thank all 17 of you for coming out. That is some beautiful shit, I mean it. Thank you so much. You are never gonna see this many white people and 17 niggas. If you see us, we are lost in a motherfucker just sitting there. Nigga, I thought you said this was ludicrous. This ain't no motherfucking ludicrous thing. Got to get you a white friend. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at three o'clock in the morning with a wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just, hello? No, I'm sorry, no Shaquita here. Well, what number did you dial? No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. We're I love white people. If you see white people waiting on the bus stop, they're not mad, they're not angry. They just... <laughs> bus is three hours late. They just... I hope the bus driver's okay. If you see a nigga sitting on the bus stop, we are mad than a motherfucker. It ain't got shit to do with the bus. We just sitting there just... Get mad at niggas that's driving. Just... <laughs> Telling you life, it's too short. All thug niggas be ready to die, but not when you get shot. Every nigga that ever been shot has a puzzled look on his face. Just every time, this nigga, I'm ready to die, nigga, right now, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, get my weed, get my weed. Don't, don't let them, don't let me bury me. I'm just saying the whole world is crazy. You're gonna have to make your own decisions in life because the world is crazy. They tell us shit that makes no sense at all. You got to remember this is your one shot at life. Make your own rules. They don't want you to smoke weed and you shouldn't. Some niggas almost walked out on that one. Just said, well, what that nigga talking about? Did you? They want us to believe shit that don't make no sense. They don't want us to smoke weed because it's a drug. No, it's not. It's just a plant. It just grow like that. And if you should so happen to set it on fire, there are some effects. But that's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe, I'm just saying. It's some shit you got to do to it. They don't want us to smoke weed. I know some of y'all don't smoke weed because you got a good job. And by all means, make your paper, boo-boo. But if you ain't got no job, and you not smoking weed, I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your life, I really don't. There is a chemical in weed that's called fuck it. And if you can just get that in your system, it can change your life. Some of y'all be crying about bills you can't pay, got your kids lying. My daddy say he ain't home. 
Some of y'all just be in the living room, just I don't know what I'm gonna do about this light bill. They want the whole thing, they don't want a piece of it, a deposit. Just hit the blunt one time and see if it don't change your perception of what's important in your life. You just, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this light bill. I just, <laughs> fuck them goddamn lights. I got 12 candles, I've been waiting to burn that bitch since I. make no sense for them to tell us that should be illegal. Aspirin is perfectly legal, but if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. As long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of nobody overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. He gonna wake up in 30 minutes hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's the side effects. Hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. I don't know. What I don't know is why they ain't made weed into a pill. They can clone sheep. They can make a baby without the mama. Remember the cell phone? When that motherfucker came out, was it not this goddamn big? Came in a suitcase with a shoulder strap. Now the cell phone is so small that by next year, it's just gonna be a chip on a nigga's tongue. You just gonna be smoking a cigarette. Just... Hello? No, nigga, I got you on the tongue phone. Hold on, I got another call. Hello? You gotta be careful, though. Got to be careful. I bet you ain't shit in there. I bet you ain't shit in there. You know the weed is too good when you hit it and look at it. Just ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga, something in here. Something in here. That mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. something. in Los Angeles now, and I was hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Now, this nigga is a professional <laughs> weed smoker. There is not an amateur bone in this nigga's body. I was not prepared. We was doing the Tracy Morgan show. He did an episode. The nigga said, Cat, when we take a break, we gonna hit some weed. <laughs> now, I took out of that conversation two words, hit some weed. Now I can do that. I know the rules and regulations. I know I get the blunt. Puff, puff. I see you are aware of the regulations as well. So I'm feeling like everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna smoke enough weed to be sociable. Go back to my room and learn my lines. Now, I need to explain to you that it's in this room only me Snoop and his two partners. We are in a circle. I watch him roll one and light it and put it in rotation. <laughs> and it starts to go in rotation. After about four and three quarter minutes, I start noticing that I am higher than I have ever been my entire life. I mean, I am high, high. Like, I'm up on the world looking down at the planets and stars, just satellites in my mama house where I grew up in Avondale. Just all of it, I can see it. And I'm thinking, how in the hell 
could I be this high of one blunt? I look up and notice these niggas have lit six blunts and they are all in rotation at the same time. We look like an Olympic track meet in that bitch. <laughs> why you just gotta live your life. Cause other people life, it may look better than yours, but that does not mean that's the way it is. I live in LA now, I'm finding out most of that shit that I thought was real was bullshit. I met DMX two months ago, this nigga is the same size as me. That nigga was 6'12 or something. That nigga is two inches taller than me. And he talked like that for real. We in the restaurant, he, hey, yo, bitch. Let me get some water and some lemon. Hey, nigga, why are you hollering? We in a restaurant. Don't nobody holler like that in a restaurant. You know, that nigga wasn't shit in school. He couldn't cheat at all. Hey, yo, bitch. What's the answer to number seven? Oh. Nigga, you need to be in a special class. What the? I'm out there in LA. I've been making friends with basketball players, just niggas I've been watching for a long time. People like Ruben Patterson from the Portland Trailblazers and Shaquille O'Neal, just big six foot, eight foot niggas. I find out I can't even really be friends with these niggas in public. Cause they too fucking tall. I'm trying to congratulate you on the game. You got your dick all around my forehead region. I says bullshit. <laughs> Nigga, good game, good game. Just saying, you got to live your life. See, I notice a lot of this shit because I have a disease. I'm allergic to stupid shit. <laughs> now, some of y'all might have that same disease, but if you have the disease, you know for a fact that it does not start when you're an adult. It starts when you're a child. I can remember as a child being allergic to stupid shit. I can remember being in class, the teacher said, Cat, Stand up. <laughs> Bitch, I am standing up. <laughs> I hate her so much, I really do. <laughs> she says, spell kitchen. So I sounded it out as I had been instructed to do. <laughs> kitchen, kitchen, K-I-T. C-H-E-N. She said, very good, very good, spell knife. Now once again, church, I sounded this motherfucker out. Mmm, knife. Mmm, uh. knife. Uh. N-I-F-E, knife. She said, no, no, I'm sorry, it's K-N-I-F-E. <laughs> this bitch is stupid, she really is. Uh, yes, that would be knife. Knife. <laughs> this is what she told me in front of the whole class. She said the K is silent. I said, then take that quiet motherfucker out then, because it's confusing me. Right after class, I cut that bitch with a cascoon. Just what the fuck are you talking about? Now, just in case you think I'm tripping, we are all adults now. Can you please tell me the purpose of the silent letter? Have you ever been able to use one in your own personal life? My name is Bob, that's B-K-O-B. Nah, nigga, your name is Bacob. It's right there, Bacob. <laughs> math, math was my favorite subject because everything that bitch said, I could verify. She said, two and two is four. 
Damn sure is. All the time, nigga, all the time. Then one day this bitch just flipped the script. 3X plus Y equals what? This bitch is still teaching. Do you see this shit? Did you know that some of them was letters? Yes, bitch, that's for words and sentences. Now that was just the shit they told us when we were little. Now that we grown, these motherfuckers still think we stupid. They got commercials on television where they lie and tell the truth at the same time. Now how fucking stupid do I have to be for you to lie and tell the truth at the same time? They got commercials say you can get a brand new expedition, no credit, bad credit, bankrupt, divorce, parole violation, whatever your problem is, on approved credit. Did you say no credit, bad credit, on approved credit? That's like you go to the club and a girl tell you I'm gonna give you some pussy, never. But that's not the same then, that's... Then they got commercials for medication where the side effect is worse than the shit that they're curing. And I didn't think nobody was noticing but me. All I'm saying, if I'm taking something for asthma, I don't need the side effect to be shortness of breath. That's what the fuck I came to you for. They got some shit called Zenical. Now, Zenical is a fat blocker. And if weight is heavy on your mind, you got to be excited about something called a fat blocker. Because you might not necessarily want to stop eating. But you wouldn't mind something blocking the fat every now and again. They show you the lady, she's a little overweight, she's unhappy. Three seconds later, she's in a bikini running through flowers and you think, I want to run through some flowers too. Because you envision a pill in your throat all day just blocking fat. Just Then they say possible side effects are gas with an oily discharge, <laughs> diarrhea, and the inability to stop it. What the fuck? <laughs> gas with an oily discharge. <laughs> it's already embarrassing to fart in church as it is. Now you got to ruin your clothes? You just <laughs> That ain't never coming out, nigga. No, nigga, that's oil, that's oil. Just gotta make your own decisions. They tell you you should not smoke cigarettes because it will stunt your growth. And when you're a kid, they tell you drink all your milk. Eat your vegetables so that you can grow up big and strong. And I remember as a child, drinking milk every day just bring a cow in and let me get up under him and drink some fresh milk so i can be big and strong broccoli give me all the broccoli and greens and spinach let me show y'all some shit y'all not gonna believe would my mother and father please stand up in the audience right now i'm looking around now look up there at my pants up at the top my daddy 5'5 five, five, and my mama 5'3. What the fuck was I drinking milk for? Shit. I could have been eating lemon heads and baked beans all day. Y'all don't know, it ain't no fun. Cincinnati right now worried about black and white prejudice. That ain't shit compared to the prejudice of being short in American society. This is bullshit. You don't know how I had to overcome. Ain't no parades, ain't no marches, Jesse Jackson don't show up. All 
the shit y'all take for granted. Like that little thing your mama put by the door to mark your size every year. We just had one dark ass line. My mama wrote forget about it on the top of it. Just one dark. Then you grow up and be the same size. You got to be a pimp. You just can't be no regular nigga this size. I can't even go to an amusement park. <laughs> fuck Kings Island, I don't give a fuck. I'm a grown ass man. What do you mean I can't ride this goddamn ride? I'm a grown ass man. I spent a hundred dollars, I gotta ride in a teacup with little kids. Just, this is bullshit. When we get out this motherfucker, I am gonna kick your motherfucking ass. Just saying life is short. <laughs> to make up your own rules. Make up your own rules. We be wanting to do better so bad. You got to be happy with however your life is right now. That don't mean you don't want to do better, but you got to be happy with whatever you got right now. If you got a raggedy car, Stop talking shit about your raggedy car. That's your raggedy car. You need to go home and wash the shit out that motherfucker. Put armor all and everything on it. That way, when you leave the club, you don't have to have that raggedy car conversation. Now we all know the raggedy car conversation. Some of y'all can't laugh right now, cause you might have to use it later. But we all know the raggedy car conversation. You leave the club, you just. <sighs> I don't need no bullshit. I don't need no bullshit. <laughs> you fuck around and crank that motherfucker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you gotta act like you ain't ready to leave the club. Well, what y'all niggas doing? What y'all doing? I'ma hang out for a minute, see what's going on. <laughs> just gotta be happy with whatever you got. That way you don't accidentally end up becoming no hater. You mad cause you got a raggedy car. Now when you pull up at the stoplight, you gotta look at the nigga in the Escalade like he made a fucked up decision. You just in the car just. That's bullshit. You gotta be happy with whatever you got in your life. Let me give you a perfect example. Married people make some noise. Now, did you hear how depressing that shit sounded? <laughs> Who would ever want to be married with two motherfuckers clapping like that? Let's try it again. Married people make some noise. Yes. I don't care how fucked up your marriage is. If you done found a motherfucker to walk with you day in and day out, that is some beautiful shit. You got to be happy about that. One more time, married people make some motherfucking noise. Yes, yes, okay. Let's see what we're working with. Do we have any newlyweds at all? Newlyweds, what? Right there, is that? Uh-huh, uh and where else? Right, right over there, okay. Stand up if you're newlyweds. I can't see you. You have to stand right there. Uh huh. Wait a minute, hold on. I see a nigga standing up by herself. Oh, there she is. Okay. I can tell y'all newlyweds. Y'all been fucking all day. She tired. She got up like this. This nigga's crazy. I can't keep doing this. Okay. So how long y'all been married? A month. A month. A month. Oh. Where's a month and a half? Raise your hand. Month and a half. Uh, where's a month? What you got back there? A month. Hot niggas. Woo! You hear that nigga? A month and a half. I'm loving every minute of it. I don't know what took me so long. Cause you know that black people will go together for 36 years. Finally get married. You know all the kids in college now. I'm gonna go on and do this. I'm gonna go on and make you my wife. That's some beautiful shit for a month and a month and a half. That's wonderful shit. Let's find out where the veterans are. 
Do we have any veteran married couples? Who've been married more than 10, 15 years? What we got? What you got, ma'am? 20. Can anybody beat 20? What we got? Can we beat 20? Shit, we got 20. Shit. 28, but you're so far back you don't count. A shaman and I are seven Should have bought your tickets early. I can barely see you. Come on, because outside by the fountain, 28. What we had right here? We had 24. Where was 24 at? Where was 20? There it was. There, yeah, okay. Stand up 24 so we can get a look at you. Go. Wait, wait. No, no, no. No? You sure? Because we can make this whole segment about y'all personally if you don't want to comply with my wishes and demands. Oh, look at Kirk Franklin. Don't want to stand up with his wife. Because that ain't really his wife. He been married 24 years. She got a boyfriend. They can't even stand up. They sitting there like hostages now. What the fuck did you put your hand up for? I told you keep your goddamn hands down. That's some beautiful shit for motherfuckers married 24 and 28 years. 26. 26. I left that out. I thought that went between 24 and 28, nigga. That nigga don't want to be left out. 26. Thought we was doing bingo in this bitch. Just E26. That's a long, I can't even shit. 24, 26, 28 years, just, God damn, that's beautiful. Just day after day after day of the same motherfucker. Just every time you wake up, just shit, you again. Why don't you go on a vacation or some shit? That's some beautiful shit. If you done found somebody to walk with you every day. See, see, month, month and a half, see, sometimes y'all still have arguments and disagreements, but at 24, 26, and 28, these motherfuckers don't even talk to each other no motherfucking more. Sometimes she just be looking at him, just look at this nasty ass nigga. He gonna smell that shirt. It smell like yesterday, motherfucker. Put it on, I don't give a shit, I don't give a shit. Sometimes he be looking at her like, she finna ask me, did this dress make her look fat? I oughta just go on and tell her, I see you naked! Stop blaming it on the dress! But that's some beautiful shit! If you done found somebody to walk with you every goddamn day, now let me show you something. If you don't mind. Single people, make some motherfucking noise. Now, did you hear, did you hear how exciting that sounded? I know that a month, month and a half had a flashback to when you two was happy in a motherfucker. Just, Because ah! as single people, we always act like we the shit. And we are. We really are. We the shit as long as we out. We quick to tell motherfucker, when you going home? When the fuck I want to go home? I'm single, free to motherfucking mingle. That is, till you get home in that lonely ass kitchen. You just in the kitchen. Why won't you send me somebody, Jesus? I'm just saying, whatever you got in your life, be happy with what you got. Now, this next thing I'm gonna say is just for the fellas. Just don't apply to you, just forget I even said it. If you got a crazy ass baby mama, <laughs> this nigga's testifying in the back. If your baby mama is that crazy, uh-huh. I didn't say something about baby's mamas and triggered this nigga's Tourette's syndrome. This nigga just, 
calling out area code 513 404 213 If your baby mama is that crazy, the first rule you need to remember is keep your hands to your motherfucking self. Because these police do not give a shit about niggas if they have to come to the house. Oh, they don't give a shit. You can be laying on the ground with both your eyes black and your arm broke. And she gonna be on the couch laughing her motherfucking ass off. Please make up, ma'am, did he hit you? Hell no, I knocked this motherfucking ass out. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, but as you were knocking him out, as he was falling back, did he clutch at you? Did he clutch at you? He damn sure did, I had forgot all about that. Y'all say bye to your daddy! Cause he had clutched at me and I forgot in the shock of the moment. So rule number one is keep your hands to yourself. Rule number two, is if you got a crazy ass baby mama, just try. Some Sarah. Shit. If you got young kids, just take my advice and be happy at whatever level your child is on. Because as parents, we always want our kids to be doing some shit they ain't doing. Like when my son couldn't talk, all the fuck I wanted him to do was to talk. Didn't nobody tell me that once this nigga started talking, he would be qualified to ask me 500 motherfucking questions back to motherfucking back while we wait at a stoplight. This nigga just in the car, just. Why is the McDonald's sign yellow, daddy? What part of the chicken is a chicken nugget, daddy? What's the difference in barbecue sauce and hot sauce? Is barbecue sauce just sweet and tangy and hot sauce ain't tangy? What is tangy, daddy? Is that kind of like sour, but it ain't sour? Why you crying, daddy? Why you crying? I don't know shit! That's my motherfucking nigga, though. You just got to figure your kids out. You got to figure your kids out. I know some of y'all be letting your kids stress you. Do not let your kids stress you. You got to understand the world is against you and your baby. The world is about money, making money. They don't give a fuck about you raising your children. Commercials are 30 to 60 seconds long. Your child's attention span is 30 to 60 seconds long. That's why they want everything. You can go to the store and buy your child everything in the toy store on aisle number seven. I swear for God, he'll get to aisle number eight and be like, but daddy, this wasn't even in there. <laughs> you just gotta figure out how to deal with your kids. I tell my son the truth. I agree with whatever can be agreed with. 
I know that nigga want everything, but I understand he just want me to know. He don't expect it. This is him for an hour watching TV, just... I love that bicycle, Daddy. You see that bicycle? It got a bell and everything. I like bells. I might as well just ring it. Just bing, bing, bing. You know I'm in the driveway when I ring it. That movie come out Friday, Daddy. We're going to be here Friday. We might as well see the movie Friday. I love Pokemon, Daddy. Pikachu. I love Pikachu, Daddy. That's Fruit Loops. Got vitamin C for boys and for girls. I love vitamin C, Daddy. This is me for an hour. Yep, 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 yep. Tomorrow, nigga, you never know. Yep, yep. At the end of the hour, I ain't bought shit. He ain't got shit. We both happy than a motherfucker sitting on the couch. I'm just saying, do not let your kids stress you out. See, I don't know how you raise your kids. We all raise our kids different. And I know a lot of comics mess with white people and tell white people they need to beat their kids. But let me tell you something. It ain't that. It ain't like niggas got it all down pat when it come to raising kids. We all got problems. We just got different problems. It would seem like white people are a little bit too lenient on their children and niggas are a bit too harsh on ours. All I'm saying is at the white family's house, you can get time out for setting the family dog on fire. At the nigga household, you can get beat half to death for forgetting to feed the family dog. Now that's the same goddamn dog. We just do shit differently, but white people, please take this back to your community. <laughs> please stop putting your children on them goddamn leashes. That is just entertainment for niggas. We, oh, we can't wait to see that shit in the store. We get right by the register. Just... That's why white little kids wake up and grow up to be 26 and kill everybody in the family because you done had them on the leash like a dog. They just in the toy store just, I want it, I want it, I want it. And black people laughing like we got the shit down pat. We ain't no good neighbor. You got to stop beating your motherfucking kids in the goddamn grocery store. You just in the checkout line as soon as your baby touched the Skittles. You did not tell you not. Just, ma'am, that baby is a toddler. You can't beat that. <laughs> Just saying, don't let your kids stress you out. I don't know how you raise your kids, but I'm a pimp. Not because I put women on the street. I think pimp, therefore I am. I see some niggas writing it down. Feel free, feel free. So, the first rule of pimping is you don't lie. So I don't lie to my son about nothing. He's nine, he ain't never believed in Santa Claus, I'm sorry. I cannot afford for him to walk around thinking it's a white man going through the ghetto giving niggas Playstations. No, no. Daddy bought that with his weed money, baby. Can you say sacrifice? Sacrifice. We have real conversations. When the new Jordans come out, I take that nigga to the Foot Locker with the rest of the churn and let him try them on. <laughs> no, they tight, they tight. All right, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to run down this aisle real quick. I'm gonna time you. On your mark, get set, go! Five seconds, five seconds, that was good, that was good. Take them off, take them off. Come with daddy to pay less. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Now put the Batmans on. Put the Batmans on. Make sure the Velcro is tight. Make sure the Velcro is tight. On your mark. Get set. Go. Three seconds. All I'm saying is you're faster than the Batmans. Now, sit right here, Pippin. Let daddy holler at you. Now, if you want the Jordans, Daddy can get you the Jordans all day, every day, no problem. But for the same price as the Jordans, you can get the Batmans, the Robins, the Pokemons, the Digimons. You get these, don't have no name, but they light up every time you walk, just every step you take. And that nigga bling, bling out the stove, he just...
Just saying, don't let your kids fuck with you. I learned my lesson. Some of y'all do all your Christmas shit. Don't get around paying the bills to October. <laughs> October 19th, you still paying off shit from last Christmas. Cause you trying to keep up with white people. Fuck that. Keep up with your budget. You ain't got to spend all that money. These is children. You know the same kids that play with sticks and bricks? Yes, the same motherfucking kids. You done spent $1,300 on Christmas. That motherfuckers don't even play with it after the batteries run out. This is bullshit. You need to go to the 99 cent store and buy 100 toys. They ain't gonna be name brand and they gonna tear up in a week. But any child got to be happy about 99 motherfucking toys. My son was all under the tree, just daddy, daddy, da <laughs> Nigga didn't even open them, he just went to sleep, just. I know my daddy loved me, I know my daddy loved me. I know my daddy loved me. Just say a life is short. Got to work on your relationships. If you're in a bad relationship right now, you can end that motherfucker tonight. End it tonight. Life is too short for you to be in a fucked up relationship. Just tonight, when the show is over, just walk right past your vehicle and keep on going. Just, no, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. Go right on down fifth. Because life is too short. Women, I know, I know y'all been talking about niggas ain't shit. I know you've been saying that I've been hearing you. That's not the case. On behalf of all niggas here this evening, I want you to know it's just been a misunderstanding. <laughs> y'all just don't understand us. We are simple. Women, y'all think too much. Put too much pressure on yourself. Pay attention to too many magazines. Niggas don't give a shit about most of that stuff y'all be worried about. About, ooh, I think I'm gaining some weight and I got to get, every, every magazine a woman reads say, bitch, you ain't shit. <laughs> Just everyone, you still wearing them shoes? Bitch, you ain't shit, you ain't shit. Is that the makeup you still wearing? Bitch, you ain't shit. I think I can speak for all niggas when I say we don't give a fuck about most of that shit. It ain't a nigga in here that ever been ready to fuck a woman and then change his mind because she had on the wrong toenail polish. It has never happened in the history of mankind. Oh, hell no. Is that plum? No, that's plum, bitch. No. Not plum and red. I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> Women, you just got to remember men are simple. We are simple. We just want to work and fuck and eat, and not necessarily in that order. Because if a nigga can fuck, we ain't even hungry. I'm okay, I'm okay. I ate yesterday, it was okay. You got a Tic Tac or something. A Tic Tac would be nice. We just tired of women confusing us. Women, stop confusing us. We are simple. We are tired of being at the club. You got a woman dancing all on you just... done danced the crease out of niggas' pants. <laughs> now, after the club, we excited in a motherfucker. We on the car like this. <laughs> uh -uh. So what's cracking? And y'all turn into a different motherfucker. Y'all just, <gasps> What kind of girl did you think I was? I thought you were a whore. You're a whore over there. I assumed you'd be a whore over here. Did we cross the no whore line? What the fuck happened? Did you... I know women be bothered by simple shit. Women don't like it when a man buy them a drink and then follow them all over the club all night. <laughs> Clap if you hate that, women. Do you hate that? Yes. See, once again, this is just a simple misunderstanding. I am not following you, bitch. I am following my $7 investment in our relationship. Now, if you don't want to drink, then just say no thank you. 
but don't take my investment and run off with it. You done hopped in the car with another nigga. Now I'm in the parking lot just... Uh, yeah, could I holler at you, player? Uh, either you or her owe me 350, that's all I'm saying. I, it could be you, it could be her, it could be her, it could be you. That, Before I get out of here, I, I gotta say something that's gonna be a bit controversial, but I've been thinking about it and it really needs to be said. Hold on one second. Thank you ever so much. I, I heard a, a voice with some bass in it. I just want to acknowledge that. What'd you say, sir? Yes, pimp in distress. 10.32. I know my hairdresser is quite frustrated. I done sweated it out every goddamn curl that bitch put in, just 38 seconds. Hairdressers be throwing out gang signs in Cincinnati, yeah? What y'all got, like a hundred hair salons? What's the name of the best one? No, that's just where you go. That's just where you go. <laughs> All right, I gotta say this. I want you to know before I say this that a third of the niggas in here are not gonna be happy about what the fuck I'm getting ready to say, but I want you to know that I have been this size all of my life which means I'm not scared of shit, nigga. I've been unconscious before and it wasn't that bad. I woke up in the club, nigga, I was well rested and everything. I just start talking shit. Well, where's the nigga now? The nigga can't get a power nap in this bitch? And remember that this is just my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, there are only two type of niggas. Real niggas and bitch niggas. Now, now if you're not sure where you fit in, chances are you's a bitch nigga, you really are. If you look around, there's people looking at you right now, talking about what is that bitch nigga smiling about? But as real niggas, we have always known that there were bitch niggas. We see them in the mall all the time. They be waving and you be like, what is this bitch nigga waving at? But now, bitch niggas are becoming a problem for real niggas. Bitch niggas are now starting to cost real niggas money. You see, there are more lesbians now than there have ever been. And most of that is the fault of bitch niggas. You can't blame her. She been with bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga. And finally she like, why don't I just be with a bitch nigga? And you can't blame her, you can't blame her. But bitch niggas don't respect women at all. They don't understand this is not 1996. I'm gonna get mine, I hope you get yours. A woman should be so kind as to offer you some pussy. It is your obligation to fuck the shit out of her at every opportunity that you get. Ah, but the bitch nigga don't get it. And the bitch nigga starting to cost real niggas money now. Cause now you done went over her house and fucked it up. And now before you can get in your car, she is already on the phone with a real nigga. Now this nigga got to get up out his bed, go all the way across Cincinnati to fix some shit you didn't have no business fucking with, with your bitch ass in the first place. And gas prices are too high for that type of shit. Now, now I know that there are some real niggas in the audience right now who are mad at me right now because they don't understand why I'm wasting my time and my breath talking to bitch niggas. But what you don't understand is you don't have to be a bitch nigga all your life. After the show, you can get with one of these real niggas in the audience and let him tutor you on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays till you get some of that bitch out your uterus. Now listen to me carefully, if you would, bitch niggas. The first thing you need to understand, bitch nigga. <laughs> See the bitch niggas paying attention? The first thing
what you need to understand, bitch niggas, is the first nut is slippery. It's not just you. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes the first nut just has a mind of its own. You can have the best intentions in the world, just I'm gonna fuck the shit out of, oh hell no, I don't believe this shit. Now, if you a real nigga, you never even let her know what just happened. You just, you are not ready yet. You are not ready yet. I'm gonna eat your pussy again. I'm gonna eat your pussy again. You are not ready for this. There's some women in here mad right now. Is that what he was doing? Yes, you are fucking with a real nigga. Now, since you know that the first nut is slippery, It is your obligation to get that motherfucker out the way before you get to her house. You need to be on the highway working that motherfucker out. Just... That way, by the time you get to her house, you are already on nut number two. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more powerful than arriving at her house already on nut number two. You don't be bullshit, you just go on and lay down, go on and lay down. You might want to wrap your hair up this evening, you might want to wrap your hair up. Now listen to me carefully, if you would, bitch niggas. Now, once you have put on your condom and you are safely inside. <laughs> the only word that should be in your head is concentration. You don't have time to be looking in her eyes and <laughs> caressing her softly and smelling that raspberry shit she got from Bed Bath & Beyond. You need to be looking at everything in her house but her. Just keep your focus. Just... <laughs> Sing little songs to yourself off key to keep your focus. Just A, B, C, D, E, E, G. Now listen carefully, bitch nigga. If you feel it starting to slip away, remember that this is a one-man sport. You make all the rules. Do not be ashamed to get out the pussy and get yourself together if you feel it starting to slip away. Just A, B, C, D. <laughs> e, F, G, H, I, G. <laughs> Pay attention to me if you would, bitch nigga. Now I know I know because I'm moving so quickly, I haven't had time to talk about eating the pussy, and I know that that makes the bitch nigga think that maybe you don't have to do it. But see, it's that type of thinking right there that qualifies you to be a bitch nigga in the first place. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... See, real niggas know something that bitch niggas have never, ever found out. Oh, it's so quiet right now, you can hear a bitch nigga drop, ain't it? That's... <laughs> See, real niggas know I'm not eating the pussy for you. Oh, no. No, no. A shaman and I are some of the shaman are going and holler it out then, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not eating the pussy for you. I'm eating the pussy for me. See, I laid the pussy. I know for a fact you already came twice. I felt you when you clenched up on the motherfucker and damn near suffocated me. <laughs> now I have the rare opportunity of surprising you with the dick. You forgot all about the dick. You did. You brought dick too? Oh my God, girl, this nigga brought dick too. Pay attention to me. If you would, bitch nigga. Now, once you've been doing it correctly for about 27 and three quarter minutes, you are gonna start to feel a pain in your side like you've been exercising. Now I know that this is ordinarily where the bitch nigga just go on and call it a day. But if you can manage to fuck through the pain. See, she don't know you in pain. She think you a genius and are hitting it from the side. So continue to hit. <laughs> 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 
through the pain because 14 minutes after that, your body is going to go into autopilot. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there is nothing more wonderful than feeling your body go into autopilot. Because now you got time to have fun with her. You got time to enjoy yourself. You got time to do stupid shit like look at your own dick. Now look around at the confused look on the bitch nigga's face right now. I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more wonderful than looking at your own dick. You just in that motherfucker just... Some of you niggas can't do it no way because you got to be so close on the pussy. You just... Y'all been all that. I'm Cat. Thanks for the time.